On today's Ring of Honor, presented by the Locked On Senators podcast, we are going to draft the greatest jerseys in Senators history. Your Locked On Senators, your daily podcast on the Ottawa Senators. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to episode two of the Ring of Honor. Episode one was contentious and it had a clear winner. I'm Ross Levitan, always alongside Brandon Pillar. We've got at Aleem's Merchant with us as well. As always, you can follow the show on social media at Send Central on Twitter at LockedOn.Senators on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Ring of Honor every Tuesday until the Ottawa Senator season begins again. Before we move forward, let's look backwards at what was, and it was a landslide victory. You guys all had your say on Twitter, and Team 2 was at Laleem's Martian, 62% of the votes in what was, well, a little more lopsided than I would have liked, talking about the top free agents in Senators history. Pilsy, that's a tough look for the everyday host of Locked On Sense. Yeah, I mean, we, we want to do Martian a favor, throw him a bone for the first one, right? So I think we both collectively agreed before, let's let's give Martian the best picks, pump his tires a little, get him excited for the new segment, and uh, we'll move forward from there. I'm, I'm confident that, I don't know who's going to win this one, but I'm confident it's not going to be a landslide like this one. Like Martian... Uh, the, the you absolutely nailed that one according to the fans. Philzy, I I don't think you took it easy on me at all. I think you're making, <laughs> you're making excuses, and I, I really like what I'm hearing because I, I feel like confidence is low on your end right now. I oh, heard you've been preparing yeah. a little bit harder for this one than the last yeah. one. My competitive juices are flowing. I'm wearing my Who Wants It shirt. And my question for you guys is, is, which one of you guys wants it? Because I get to make the selection for the current order of, of today's Ring of Honor. Yes. And if you want that shirt, go check out Doodling Daryl's website, who's also the master behind the thumbnail and some graphics, some yet to be, re- be released graphics that are coming soon on today's episode of the Ring and of the Honor. Posters on our wall. I always do that. Heck Martian's yeah. got one too. There, <laughs> yeah, he does. Right behind you. Boots on the ground, boots on the bus was the sequel to it. We will see what the third one is here on the Locked On Senators podcast. All right, as we've said, the winner of the previous Ring of Honor will pick the order. Martian, I know you like the two-hole there, but are you switching it up going into round two? I was thinking about going back to the two-hole because it served me so well in the last one, but fellas, I'm going to be switching it up. I will be selecting first overall for the day. 1-1. Is there a clear tier by itself? Is that why you need to go up there and get it? For me, there is. Yeah, absolutely. No spoilers, but for me, there is. So I need that 1-1 one, one pick. Okay. So the next question is, though, who who is pick two? Pilsy, you will be selecting number two today. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm in the same, same number three. Again, where I had so little success in our first one. Okay. With that, you are on the clock, Martian. Go ahead. Lead us off here. What is the greatest jersey in Senators history? Easiest selection of my life with the first overall pick in the second ever Ring of Honor. I will be taking the Black Heritage O jersey that the Ottawa Senators wore from 2011 to 2017. Fellas, this jersey is beautiful. It's easily the best jersey in Senators history. Guys, they wore this thing for not long enough. I mean, like they should still be wearing a jersey that looks like this today it, it, it's a shame that they're not this thing was dark mean looking clean looking it's got that throwback action it screams ottawa guys for me this this jersey's top tier so with all with all due respect uh i already know going into this thing i've got the i've got the best jersey on the board so I, i'm interested in your in your uh decision to switch from second to first so Originally, had you thought uh, neither Ross or Pills is going to pick this one, so I'll get it in the two hole, or did you have a more kind of uh, aggressive approach, being like, "This one's so good, I can't pass up the opportunity to get it." It was more that Pillsy, and I'm not going to give away any more of my strategy than that. Uh, okay. I really just wanted this one to be on. Yep, my, there it is. 
Um, yeah, and that's just a beautiful jersey worn by Alex Burroughs, among many <laughs> other legends. Uh, you know, you, you get one of those with a Chris Neal on the back. You get one of those with a, with a Jason Spezza with the C on it. You could get it with the Or Carpenter. a Fanuff. I picture Fanuff oh, in those. Boys, I mean, this, this jersey just looked good on everybody. And uh, there's, there's definitely no beating it in my books. That's nice. It wasn't 1-1 one, one for me. It's a very, very nice jersey. I got one of those with Eric Carlson. Funny, quick story. I actually won that jersey in a contest. And it said, tell us why you need to get a, a fresh jersey in the winter will. And I wrote back and I said, because mine is a Jared Cowan jersey. And that got me the uh, the winner there. So that and jersey now belongs to Pilsy. I was going to say, Ross, there's more to that story. Yeah, Ross won that jersey. And I was like, oh, man, like, I want one of those barbershop pole O jerseys. And Ross was like, well, I mean, I'm definitely never going to wear this Cowan one again. So you can buy that one off me. So I think I gave you like 10 bucks for it. And uh, I am now the proud owner of uh, that Jared Cowan jersey. I can't say I've worn it very much, though, Ross. After that playoff run, I don't think I've worn it since. No, no, fair enough. Okay, so what is the second overall pick? All right, uh, my 1-1 one, one is available uh, for me. So I'm glad I'm in the two spot here. And I'm going to go with the jersey from 2000 to 2007, the black jersey with the golden laurels, the Senegoth. Martian, your, your, Mar- uh, your Martian jersey, your Laleem jersey, that's, uh, that's the one. I just... I mean, if you guys have been listening to the show, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Golden Laurels. I just think they add such a nice pop. Um, I felt like I have pictures of Zidane Chara wearing those. Like, that's the first thing that kind of came to my mind. Uh, I just love those jerseys. I think it was a cool time frame in the Sens history. And uh, oddly enough, I don't have one of those jerseys. So I got to find myself one because uh, that's my one one. They're tough to find these days, too. They are yep. a bit of rarity out there. They're really There sweet. it is. Yeah. And some absolute legends wore that puppy. Yeah. yeah. You, you know what? I honestly think history looks back at them better than they were at the time. I don't Agreed. think people saw it at the time as that great of a jersey. I'm still, you know, on the fence about the whole Senegal logo in general. I thought it was always weird that Ottawa, especially in the later years, they changed it. So they had one, the home jersey was the white with the 2D and the away jersey was yeah. the red. Like two different logos on the home and away jersey. I found that to be strange. Um, but yeah, no, it's a nice jersey. Again, I'm feeling good. My 1-1 one, one is still on the board. Nice. So all right. Really good. So we're all getting our 1-1s one, here, hey? It yeah. sounds like it. I, I think I know where you're going to go with this, Ross. Wait, before you go on, though, maybe at the end we can do a fun uh, uh, kind of brainstorming discussion about we should all design what this year's reverse retro should look like. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can do that. I, I'm always game to discuss jerseys and, and especially after I took a little time off doing it uh, because we finally got our wish for the yes. rebrand and it's like, okay, so now let's at least like take a quick breather here and then maybe we'll be able to get back to it. But yeah, if you want to touch on that, I'm uh, I'm all, all game for that. Okay. So with that, should I, should I hit them? I, I like these. These are two good picks. So we're going to call that one here on the chart and a reminder, Pilsy, why don't you let everyone know how, how they'll be able to see this if people are just listening. Uh, well, I mean, first off, you should be watching on YouTube. This is definitely uh, the Ring of Honor series is definitely a top uh, YouTube style show. So you can see the jerseys that we're doing. But uh, are, are you referring to are we going to release that timeline list that I that I sent you so people can reference it? Well, not only that, but in the poll, I'm going to make it a thread and put team one and then the four jerseys that were selected. Team oh, two, nice. Four yes. jerseys that were selected. Make it nice and easy for everybody to get in the mix. Okay. You know what? This one, I don't have to find a photo of. I'm just going to grab it right here. I thought you were going to do this. One, one worn from 95 to 97. Nice. It finally added. Cause like the initial 2d, it was a little too mono monotone. It was just a black and red. When they added the white stripe in there, it just is so clean. And yeah. the difference between this one and then what they change it to after boys, Having Ottawa Senators written yeah. inside the crest is such an elite play. So I've got that as my 1-1. One, one. I'm so pick. happy it's still on the board. Elite pick by me. And you know what? Just because seeing it is one thing, but you got to see the GOAT in it right there. That's yes. Daniel Alfredson rocking it back in the old school Jofa days. Oh, look at that helmet. <laughs> three Alfie heads in there. It's an astronaut helmet. Unreal. So yeah, that's my one, one Su- super happy. I'm just going to call it the 95 to 97 2d black. Yep. We'll put it on that. And 
Um, with that, I'm going to go right in. Any, any comments on that? That's a great pick. That's a great pick. Yeah, I was high on my list here as well. I, I, I didn't think you were going to go that direction, but I feel like the next pick you're going to make is going to be the one that I thought you, that I thought you were going to go with with that one. So really nice pick too, Ross. I like it. Okay. Well, with my second pick, I'm going to do something that fans wanted forever. The rebrand. I'm taking their current black 2D home jersey. It's the sharpest jersey in the league it's right up there with the, the the original six jerseys and then it's like the senators for too long like that's a for too long they had a logo going back to the 2d that's a crest that's like something like you'd see like a, a, a soccer team that's been around since the 1700s it's like you know it's almost like you know a family crest like an, a piece of armor i got the current 2d it looks so sharp man like when you think tim stutzel you think brady kachuk although kachuk did wear the 3d for a, a short little period but um here i'll pull it up here too because my goodness and, and on timmy it just looks so sharp and again maybe i'm going a little bit maybe i'm diversifying because i did take the uh the first one because it had the white in it but like back in black with the 2d that's where i'm going here with my second pick yeah, you know what? Those honestly, those are good picks, Ross. Uh, that's I was hoping today's present black jersey was going to make it back to me, but because uh, I didn't think you were going to go so similar back to back, though. I, so I thought I might get lucky there. Two best jerseys in team history, as far as I'm concerned. Although you know what? It's hard to pick pick up pick apart anyone's selections yet. I think we'll get to it in the third and fourth round when we yeah. have to be a little more creative. But I think that we're we're knocking off the top tier here pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, we've all made good picks. picks. Uh, all black okay. jerseys, by the way, so far. True, true. Or black jerseys. So I'm going to switch it up here. What's up? We like that dark, mean look. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sharp. It's sharp. Um, it's that pills he wearing gray right now. Martian got you. Hey, back. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for wearing a locked on uh, shirt. Just <laughs> just branding over here. Oh, well, speaking of repping the company, Pillsy, before we get to your next pick, let's say a quick word from our friends at Athletic Greens. Yes, AG1 from Athletic Greens. This is the simplest way to have a healthy routine. It's so easy. One delicious scoop of AG1 in your glass of water each day, and you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and more, so you can start your day off right. This special blend of ingredients does so much for you. It supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging, all of those things, and it's lifestyle friendly. AG1 contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything while still tasting great. So right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. And you can do that at athleticgreens.com slash NHL network. And with your first purchase, they're going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs. Just go to athleticgreens.com slash NHL network to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance from athletic greens. All right. Now let's get to your second pick Pillsy. I can't decide uh, which way to go here. Cause I feel like I like one better, but I think it might be available to me next round. So I gotta, I gotta make a decision here. All right, I'm, I'm going, I'm going with this one, Ross. I'm gonna take a move out of out of your book, and I'll pull it up for the people. Hold oh, on one sec. Is he going where I think he's going, Martian? I have no Come idea. On. No, he's not. I thought he was gonna take that out of the case. No, no. Oh, that would have been crazy. I'm going with the whites. The 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 whites are just so sharp of the 2D. I guess I should explain it for people not watching. Uh, this is what 99 to 07? 97. 97 to 07, because that's when it loses the lettering inside the crest. But it's that uh, but technically, I mean, more or less they wore the jersey from 92. Like it was in the rotation for 15 years, like 92 to 2007, but they changed the laurel on the inside. I guess that's and the lettering was. inside the crest saying Ottawa Senators, that's different. Yeah, they went to the laurels instead. But yeah, I just, I love that jersey. Uh, I, I think of Wade Redden in that jersey i think of alfie in that jersey uh havlat like those those are the guys hosa uh so yeah i it's not often i pick a white jersey is one of my favorites but those are just so sharp and ross took the the best uh 2d black one so i i had to get one of those in there for me that's the jason spezza jersey too I know Ooh, you okay nice 
Yeah. The restaurant. And you think of them, they were wearing those at home when we were little guys too. So yep. we would go to see the Sens play live. That was the jersey they were wearing. So yep. a lot of time anyway. So yeah, I really like that pick, Pilsy. That was high on my list as well. Very good jersey. And, we, you know, it'd be nice to see them go, you know, if they're going to modify the modern or the current jerseys, so, you know, go with the, add the white to the black one and add the black to the white one. I think that's, both of those are really sharp looks. Yep. Well, I guess, it's my, I guess it's my turn here. I'm on the clock here, and uh, I didn't think that this jersey was going to be left for me and be available at this current stage, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. My uh, confidence began to waver a little bit because I really like Ross's last two picks, but I think with these two jerseys that I'm, you know, after I select this one, I think I'm sitting pretty pretty, and I'm going with the exact opposite jersey of the one I've already selected. It's the white O jersey that they wore in Ooh. the in the winter classic took ross's one uh yeah against uh the montreal canadians i believe they wore the oh, no 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 you're thinking of vancouver game yeah, yeah you're thinking of vancouver are we sure it's white though pilsy i feel like we should dock a point it's there. cream it's, it's cream. cream it's not white that's what makes it special yes it's a little, but it's a little we bit know what you're talking about it's an off white and i i think they only wore it for one game if i'm not mistaken right one season they had a few like hey check out what we're gonna wear and, and they oh they did it. i thought it was just that game no, it was just that season. They never brought it back. But I oh, like, okay. Very, either way, very, very limited edition. And and this one here looks fantastic for, for fans walking around in these. I've seen a few folks who have them walking around the CTC. It's it's just clean looking. It's old uh, school looking. Mine's it's, not clean. Mine has so much beer all over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Yeah, right. Luckily, it's not pure white. It's that off-white yeah. Ross, so for guys like you, it's the perfect jersey. I think you get one of these with a Jason Spezza with a C on it because that was the season yeah. that he had the captaincy. Uh, this is a fantastic. Yeah, he's got a Clark MacArthur one. Very oh, yeah. nice, Ross. Very nice. So for me, uh, with my second overall pick here, that's the one I'm going with. And, and Martian, you mentioned a couple places that look sharp. Another one, and Ross, I think you'll agree with me that on this one. That's a good ODR jersey as well. Oh, such, such a good, good ODR. ODR jersey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a peek where we're at before Martian makes his next pick. Again, check out this courtesy of Doodling Daryl. Yes. Martian, have you seen this yet? Look how sharp this is. This looks unbelievable. Yeah. I, I'm glad we have something like this to keep it a little more professional than the Google spreadsheet that we had going last time. <laughs> but it's like when you move into a house, you know, it, it oh, feels bare bones. And then, I know all about that. Yeah. And then you, you add your own flavor. So now shout out Doodling Daryl. We're able to do that here. Thank you to the Ring of Honor. Make sure you check out his store and go check him out on Instagram and on Twitter. So Pilsy's got the black Senegoth and the classic when you think white 2D back in the day. That one there. Martian is just rocking basically a clean set. The Heritage Black. Hashtag go with the O. Martian over here. I don't know where he's going with his next. Pick. I'm going with the O, uh, but the streak unfortunately does end here. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. I've got black 2D with the lettering inside the crest and then the one they're wearing right now the one they're going to win the stanley cup in yes. for the first time okay nice. that's what we're going with hell yeah. yeah all right martian your next pick well with my next pick here guys i'm, I'm changing things up and i'm going with one of the ones that has the senegoth logo on it so i'm going with the old away jerseys the red senegoth from 1999 to 2007 i know a lot of people are going to knock these things but when i think about them i think about the ottawa centers just being an elite team with guys like Danny Healy, Daniel Alfredson. These guys were lighting the lamp. The pizza line was born in these jerseys. So for me, uh, it's not as bad as it looks. I like the old swoosh. I think that they kind of had a little bit of a miss with the uh, current reverse retros, the 2.0 reverse retros, by not adding a little color to the middle. Well, if you wanted that color, look no further than these jerseys that I've just selected here, right here. These are crispy. These are, these are a little different. Um, but I, 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 yet again, like uh, just a jersey that for me is a, is a good one uh, for the Ottawa Senators. So I'm going a little bit off the board, I feel like, with this pick. But uh, the Red Senegoth is going to be it. This is the one I, I think of Chris Phillips. And I mean, uh, that's probably, <laughs> he's played the most games in, in franchise history by one. We always have to clarify. But uh, he obviously rocked those pretty well. Big rig jerseys for sure. And uh, unique. I'll give you that, Martian. It wouldn't have been my pick. But they are unique, and there's a reason why I've got it uh, in the frame uh, back there. But, yeah, they won a lot of games in those jerseys. For yeah, sure. I, I was going to say, Martian, I agree with you. The glory years were mostly in those jerseys, but they are just god-awful jerseys. I mean, the design is terrible. The I, I don't love the 
the, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say I don't love the Senegal. That was my one, one, uh, logo design. So I can't really yeah, say you're that. Gonna knock your own picks here, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, uh, zo- I'm, I gotta put my foot in my mouth here, but, uh, I don't know. I just, as far as like objectively, like, is that a nice Jersey? That's a no for me, dog. But yes, the glory years <laughs> were in, in, uh, in that one. I'm hoping the tug on the fans heartstrings with that one. I hope people have good memory. Yeah, uh, they don't, they don't dock me for, for anything, uh, aesthetic. Cause you know, it is, you don't see any jerseys with that kind of look on True. Them. Like at least it's unique. It's, it's in red. I feel like is also, you know, like a very, just the color you, you kind of think of when you think of the Sens. They were they were red more than any other color, like timeline wise. I feel like on the ice they were red a lot. So uh, I wanted a red jersey on my in my list here, and so I'm going with the Senegal. Do you think there's a reason why teams don't use that design? <laughs> Probably, but what the <laughs> hell? Um, all right, so it's my turn there. That that is a pick. Martian, that is a pick. Wait, no, isn't it me now? Hey, listen, you don't you don't chirp me now, Ross, because I, I do believe you were. Yeah, I mean, let the let the people have their word because you getting lost in the last one. It's yeah, my hey, turn. Fair. I know. It's my oh, turn. No, it's Pilsy's turn. Yeah, I'm always in between two picks. Oh right, I forgot that he's you got lost in the snake. Going first. Yeah, well, I also got lost because we've got our headers already like locked in. So when I pull up that chart, it's not in order left to right. That's fair. You know what? You get you get one getting lost in the snake, but you don't get two. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, so my strategy worked out. I'm glad I didn't take uh, the the first one because uh, the, my next pick is available to me. Uh, I will do the same. I will I will grab it. Uno momento. Oh, okay, we've got a show and tell. I really like the show and tell version of this. Of this yeah. Of honor. The boys are really breaking out their jerseys. I didn't think ahead long enough. I would be gone for five minutes trying to dig mine out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for my third pick in this ring of honor of best Ottawa Senators jerseys. I am very glad that Martian decided to snap the streak of go with the O because I'm going with the red O the red O with the silver O uh, nod to the silver sevens, the barber pole uh, style stripes. And uh, this is the Adidas one. And it was uh, the hundred year NHL classic. And so you get that, that nice little patch on there, Ross. I know you're a big patch guy. Uh, And I just thought these jerseys were awesome. I Ross, we both got these jerseys because they were on sale super, super cheap one day randomly. And you let me know. And you order I think you ordered like five of them. And then you're like, I'll get I'll get these jerseys homes later. It was just such a good deal. I had to buy all these. Yeah. Um, and my plan was as soon as Anthony Declare signed his extension in that offseason, I was gonna get Declare on the back. As you know, Anthony Declare was not qualified and decided to become his own agent and uh, did not return to the Ottawa Senators. So I, that jersey remains nameless. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get a red here as well. I'm trying to diversify my portfolio. Uh, so I've got a black one, a white one, and a red one now, all three different logos. So I'm, I'm spreading out my uh, jersey chances here. But I did like that red one. That's one, though, when I first saw it, I don't know about you guys, but I was like, eh, it's not really hitting for me. And then I saw them wear it on the ice. And I think of, well, I mentioned Duclair, but I think of Pajot in these ones. Yeah. No, that's that's a good pick. It's a Thank good you. pick. It's not. It wouldn't have been my pick, but it's it's a good pick. I like that game. They got I'll a shutout it. win. 3 nothing was the score. Habs fans invaded Lansdowne, and they got to see exactly zero goals. All right, well... I'm not diversifying. I'm actually going to go Martian style and basically complete a set. I'm going with the current whites. I mean, we're in that range. Okay. Right now. Yeah. It's different than Pillsy's because the, yep. the one Pillsy has has the arms are black to the elbow down. I like how it's just kind of more, um, more similar to the socks, you know, classic socks where the top and bottom are the same color and then you get the switch. It's clean. It's classic. It looks sharp. And that's an easy pick at this start at this stage in the draft. So I'm going with the current 2d. So I got, I got the current set and fans love it. So I think that I'm doing pretty well so far. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like that one too, Ross. It's it, 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 like you said with Pilsy's pick, it wouldn't have been my pick. I, I feel like it's a little too bland. Maybe I, I think it does look great when you're walking around in it. It does look better than you think on the ice, but I think there's some better options available, a little bit more fun for the Jersey draft. Well, it's good. I'm going to, good I'm, pick. I'm setting myself up to have an elite final pick. 
Okay, I'm setting myself up for an elite final pick. And with okay. that, I'm going to pull it up at the same time. I'm going with the Parliament jersey. Never. Yeah. I'm going with the Parliament. The color, the white? The white. Okay. The uh, white Parliament jersey. It is so cool how the two T's end up going up into a TP with the Parliament Hill. It was never worn. I As I pulled up in this tweet, this should have been the reverse retro this year, and it wasn't. But I'm still going with it. The Parliament will be my fourth pick. I feel like you need to have some points docked considering they never wore these oh, jerseys. Shit. Oh, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Listen, guy, I'm not a big fan of it. There's mint in the jersey. It's a it's a weird color. I don't for me, it's like there's a reason they didn't decide to go forward with these jerseys. Mint. Ross, it's a little bit it's a little bit of a wild pick. I, I was reading an article about uh, these. I was I did some research in preparation for this one, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, and apparently they presented this logo to the NHL like this, like you're seeing on the YouTube. And the NHL was like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, great, great job with the presentation. Good stuff, guys. But uh, you're going to have to go back to the drawing board. We can't have just your jersey be literally your name typed out and uh, a, a little peak of a tower. Let's get a little more creative, guys. Yeah, we're going to need to talk about the logo. But yeah. I like it. I like no, it. That's, that's a good pick. That was going to be, well, uh, I, I mean, know, I'm going to go with a different variation patches on that thing too. The shoulder patches on that Jersey are just insane. They're Wait, huge. go back to them, Ross. I, I forget the shoulder patches. Photo, but there's like, you can't, you can't see them. Oh, they're, darn. they're big black shoulder patches with like a red outline. It's, it's, it's kind of ugly. I haven't even seen it. Well, shout out to the people that have that Jersey like that. That's some cool, cool shit. You have that jersey. Agreed. Yeah, that's a major throwback. All right, who's up? Pilsy. Yep, it, uh, it is me now. I like my team. I like my team. You liked your last team too. So. I like my team, guys. I don't – nah, I can't just go with the Black Peace Tower pick off that. Like that's – Probably not. That's probably not going to play. Oh. Um you know what? Okay, I'm basically at the bottom of my board here, so I'll just go with this because this is my last pick. Um, the Sens pick. No, I'm trying to win this draft. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to go with, and this one may be controversial, but uh, this is last pick of the draft season. I think all our picks are going to be controversial down here. I actually kind of like the 2021 reverse retro, the red. Uh, I, I It's so bright. It pops so much. Uh, mind you, they didn't really have a lot of success with this jersey. Uh, there's no like standout moments I can think of. I can't even think like, I guess Tim Stutzla is who I think of with this jersey. But Did they ever uh, win a game with those things on? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was great. Uh, but I did like the pop. Like they really, they. I'm gonna dock them major points for doing nothing creative with the logo, the jersey style, or anything. <laughs> they just literally were like, it's like they went on Microsoft Paint and. Uh, hit the erase button on all the black and then hit the red button, the splash paint can on, and then just made it red. Like, they didn't do anything different, but I thought they popped nice, and uh, I'm a fan of uh, the the red like that. I, I like it, Pilsy. If you didn't take it, I was going to have to be my next pick, because there's really not a lot yeah. left on the board here for me, so... Can, can uh, you find uh, a pick I to blame you. Ross? Uh, I can find one. I'm going to have to work really hard to make it. You know, put lipstick on a pig, as you guys like to say. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll pull one up because uh, Martian's trying to make us feel sorry for him. Like, he didn't pick the order. Like, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. No, I'm, I'm com- perfectly comfortable and happy with who I have uh, on, on my little board here. So, Yeah, yeah, Ro- Martian, I thought you were playing a cool. Ross is playing mind games with you here. Look out. It's not going to work. No, all right. I'm trying to find it in action. I'm having a, a little bit of struggle here. I got like a... It's certainly not one of the most celebrated jerseys. No, it's really not. I Because <laughs> that was the... They wore that when there was no crowds, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, here, I've got one of uh, JBD rocking it, which is just... That is the last player I would have expected. Just wow. Just tells you what, what you think about that one. I feel like this one looks better like rocking it to the bar or something rather than on the ice. It's a little too one color for me on the ice. 
Yeah, they they could have made the armbands uh, white in uh, between they the racks. Thrown in the trash and started. For, for started. me, it's it's the numbers that the numbers being the black, numbers were so if bad. Read, they, if they made the numbers white, maybe it would have popped a little more. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just I, want everyone to know that Pilsy just said a part of the jersey that he selected for his team is so bad. Yeah, it just <laughs> yeah. so the voter can can know that. Wait, what do you mean? I like them. Okay. <laughs> I don't hate them. Yeah. No. I don't love them. All right, it's, it's my last pick. Like, come on. all right, with my with the final selection of the entire thing here, I am really digging for scraps with this last pick. Um, but there's only one real choice for me here, boys, and I've got to go with the Sens logo jersey. <laughs> you know, really oh, you're doing it. The SNES. Yes, this oh. uh, this jersey is very controversial, boys. This thing. I don't even think it's controversial. I, I think, think it's universally it just, hated. It just says "sends" on the front. Uh, but I lo- really like the striping. The striping is cool. I think oh, if they yeah. could have gone with a different logo, if they would have thrown the Senegal on that thing or the current logo, I think this thing rocks. So uh, I think of you know Alexei Kovalev skating around in this puppy. Yeah. Um, I think they wore 2009 to 2011, so only a couple years. I think there's probably a reason for that. Uh, you might get sick of looking at it, but honestly, it's it's not as bad as you think. Like I think it's grown on people over the years. It's become a little bit of an online joke. Yeah. I, I think that there's a soft spot for voters out there for this jersey. I don't think it's going to come down as the last place jersey of all time. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm taking the, the SNES. <laughs> I'm really happy you took it. That, yeah. that pick is only acceptable as, as the very last pick of the draft. It was either that or the reverse retro 2.0, and I just refused to take that one. So, oh, I'm, guys, there's other jerseys available. Like, Well, I mean, I could take one that's identical to the one Pilsy picked, and I'd probably – Wait, be b- before we go to the honorable mentions, though, the, what the SNES jerseys remind me of – do you guys remember this? So the Sens were oh, – man, I can't remember the years very well, but they were god-awful at one stretch – and this is like the Zach Smith, Antoine Vermette, uh, like that that group, that core. And they were on a huge losing streak. So they decided to all grow mustaches together. Like it was a team thing. Like we're all going to only rock mustaches. Yeah. So not only were they losing games, they were in these terrible jerseys. And they all had like greasy mustaches coming in. And it was just <laughs> like A for effort trying to do something team bonding. But it was an all-time fail. That's what I always think of. Yeah, I mean, at least it was just an alternate jersey. Uh, not that their, you know, home and away jerseys were much better. There's a reason we didn't draft either of those as well. Like, we didn't take any of the old plain, like, 3D, whatever you want to call that. I don't think you can either, even call it the Senegoth. It's the, it's the yeah, 3D. The 3D Reebok. Yeah, nobody selected a single one of those jerseys. So, um, yeah. I, to me, yeah. That, that was a bad era for sense jerseys. I'm glad it's over. And they lasted like 12, 13 years. I couldn't yeah. believe how long they stuck with it. Yeah, yeah I didn't think it would it, like it's not so terrible. It's just very meh. Like it, like and like you said, Ross, like it was just we were all so sick of it. It was like we need something different, even though, even though something different, we just wanted to go back to the the old style. But hey, it was a good change. Yeah, bring us that new old. Yeah, I want that new old. That new old feel. All right, that's the all-time best Ottawa Senators jersey draft. My team is the black 2D, 95 to 97. So they only wore it for a couple of years with the lettering inside the logo. I've got the set they have now, the current black 2D, the current white 2D, and the parliament never before worn. But it it symbolizes the Senators getting a team. So you have that. Pilsy, read off your squad and the merch and do the same. I've got the black Senegoth. I want to emphasize the gold laurels. Gold laurels, guys. Think of those gold laurels. Uh, then I've got the 97 to 07 white 2D. Fresh, classic, love it. The Heritage Red O. A lot of history, 100th uh, anniversary. And then the 2021 all red reverse retro. A lot of bad memories, but kind of cool. Very cool. And I've got the, uh, for my first overall pick, I took the Black Heritage O, and then I took the Winter Classic Cream Heritage O. So a couple O's on the board there. I got the Red Senegoth with the Black Swoosh through the middle. And I took the SNES, the Sens logo jersey uh, that they wore from 2009 to 2011. That's like Alexander Picard skating around in that thing. <laughs> no, no. We're thinking of Kovalev. That's, that's... Well, we're not thinking of Kovalev. We're thinking of like Cody Bass. 
or our good friend uh, Stuart Saverin. He he loves rocking that one. Oh, Stewie, yeah, he yeah. loves that one for sure. That's true, yeah. There, there's going to be a niche crowd that loves it, Marsha. Yeah. But I'm niche, hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for those votes. I and I feel like that you know the the people who love that jersey also love the O jersey. I think I'm going to be fine. I, I don't think I'm going to be ending up coming in, coming last in this. Um, I do like Ross's list. Pills of yours is kind of middle of the road too. It's going to be interesting to see other people vote, but the black hair to might give me the edge. But I think it's interesting because like Martian, you went with like the, the niche choices. Like you're targeting one audience, uh, one group of people and hoping they vote hard. I tried to hit all the spots and then uh, Ross is just like, Hey, you guys like the new jerseys, right? And you guys like the really old jerseys, right? So yeah, it'll Ross, be interesting to see how this, uh, which strategy favors us here. Honestly, I think Ross, your list is kind of boring. You know, <laughs> oh, it's so sharp. Get out of here. There's yeah, a it's, it's classic. It's classic. Yes, you're contemporary and I have classic. Okay. All right. Classic. Okay, we want to end today's show discussing a potential jersey coming into next season. If the Senators were to bring in an alternate jersey, which one would you like? By the way, go vote on Twitter at Send yes. Central. Oh. Go vote at Send Central on Twitter and write in the comments what you want our next category to be. We've got plenty of options. We've got a list. But if you have one that you're like, man, the boys need to get into this, we will do just that and by the way um we did have a few people who are on the road from toronto to ottawa uh listening yeah. to the show last week that was awesome. awesome too um so all that to say pilsey you seem like you have an idea at the top of your mind i'm so disappointed they didn't do this like obviously this is my own personal opinion but i just think this was the easy correct choice to make for this so i want the um the senegoth red jersey though no swoosh no, sorry, Martian, no swoosh. And then the gold laurels and the big numbers on the back. So basically the jersey that Ross has got behind him uh, with the Senegoth, but no swoosh, add in laurels and big, big, uh, like, uh, cloud. Well, essentially the one you took with your first pick just in red. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice. And low-key, the best part of that jersey is the shoulder patches with, like, the half yeah. of maple leaf with the peace tower in there, too. Yeah, I would like that. I'm still like, dude, that white or black Parliament jersey? No, they need to do it in red. Have you seen the mock-ups for the red? The red oh, Peace Tower jerseys look sick. Yeah, that could be good too. Yeah. Um, I just Cause, love Because you don't want another white or, or black really oh, with the reverse be, retro. Right. You're right. It has to be red. It has yeah. to be or red. Or it should be at least. And you can't do gold. Vegas already did gold. You can't do That's gold. That's the thing. That yeah. would be flashy though. Isn't that so annoying that like the new team comes in and does it? It's like, why didn't Ottawa just get creative, you know, in the 29, 30 years that they've been able Honestly. to be creative. So that sucks. Martian. For me, I, I want to run back the old black Senegal. Don't reverse anything. Just bring it right back. <laughs> it's perfect the way it is. So give me that. Or if you, I know, I mean, this is kind of a weird idea that I just thought of. It doesn't even, I don't even know if this is going to work, but. Got it. Dude, what's that? I'll cut this part. <laughs> yeah, do do the black jersey, the black Senegal jersey, and make the the red in the middle a sparkly red, and then do gold laurels or something like that. I don't yeah. know how it would work. You know, reverse that part of the jersey just so you can call what? it reverse retro. Um, I I really think that that jersey has a place. Uh, well, Adidas is out, so maybe there won't even be considered a reverse retro. It can just be kind of an alternate, whatever. Yeah, it's it's fanatics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably turn the page on the reverse retro thing altogether. Yeah. Martian, what what about this? What about getting a gold O jersey? Like one of the bars is gold. Hey, we are missing a gold O. We've got right. the red, we've got the white, well, cream, and we've got the black. So why not a gold? I like that idea, Pills. I good. always think of like a champion when I think of gold, though. Like you know how MLB they do the gold trim on the World Series champions jerseys yep. the next year. I feel like you have to earn the gold. Mm -hmm. and they will. Okay. Let them they earn. Will. Wearing which jerseys? All right. My team, go vote on Twitter. At yeah. It would be too funny if they changed their jerseys this year and just like <laughs> changed them up. It would be funny. It would actually suck because we worked very hard. They need yeah. to rock these for True. a few more years. Absolutely. True. Yeah. All right. Any final thoughts, fellas? That's always fun, always contentious. I like how we, we're mixing it up. We're not just going to play name players every week, but I think yeah. we should get back. You know, there's some draft busts could get contentious. That could get. I feel wrong. bad doing that one. Oh man. I mean, you don't think these players know? Fair. 
Uh, right? Well, some of them might not. <laughs> they're, uh, hopefully, they're just not listening. And then we yeah, can... I mean, that point. If you see an art and a uh, show called The Biggest Draft Bust in Auto, <laughs> hey, I wonder if I'm on here. <laughs> You probably shouldn't click on it. No, I, you know what you do? You watch the 1-1 one, one pick, and if it's not you, shut it off. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it could get contentious. Okay, everyone do number – what's your 1-1 one, one for that? We'll just leave it as 1-1. One, one. What? No, 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 no. 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 You're going to save it. Yeah, yeah that's cool that do might that. be a, a ring of honor. I'm not We're giving spoiling. away my strategy. Okay, well, let us know in the comments who should be the next topic. Or what should be the next topic for the Senators' ring of honor? Tomorrow, Send Central Citizen from England coming up on Locked On Senders. For today, we say goodbye. For at Leems Martian, make sure you're following him on Twitter and at Brandon Pillar One. I'm Ross Levitan. This has been a special episode of the Locked On Senators podcast, your team every day. <laughs>